So let's go over the first layer, okay? Now the way I've generated this sub is actually by um, using the kick drum. Two reasons. First one is that it's coming from the it's been generated from the actual same sound as the kick drum, which means it's you're not searching around for another sub bass that's disjointed. It's, it's you're generating it from the actual kick itself, which means it's just going to be more consolidated. And two. The method that I'm using is such a great tool to use because it gives you so much play um, for other parts of your production as well. So I'm going to show you that right now. It's actually called resampling. Some of you might do it already, but this is how I've used that technique to achieve this sub bass. So add an audio track, click resampling. Turn that on there, and here's the here's the juicy bit. We want to put a reverb on top of the kick to create a the biggest kind of tail we can find. Okay, what do maybe this here convolution reverb pro. So let's stick it on. sounds massive. Now, how do we get this to a sub? So what we need to do is, I think we can crank that up even more down here. So we would basically want to resample that reverb tail into this channel here. So we do that, let's just hit record. Lovely. So let's take the reverb off the kick now, because that would be daft to leave that on. And what we want to do So that'll be exactly that sound. Mono. Auto filter. Ooh. So next thing, we can't just leave it like that, of course not. So what we want to do is, is find a, a place within this waveform here that we can use for the kick drum, right? So just for demonstration purposes, I'll do it quickly. Now, you wanna, when you're doing it, you want to find the best part. But this is how I've done it. So I'm using my 